hello, welcome to a very special Doc Two Figure review. Um, just before I do start the review, um, in the collection update, I had some music in the background, and I do apologise that in some of it, when I've shown you all the classic things I had, it was a bit too loud, and I don't know if you heard it, but if I do music in this one, I'm not sure if I will do. I'll try and make it quiet so you can hear it. It's just to add a bit of you know music to it. I don't think I will do any reviews. It's just when it's like updates I might experiment okay um well okay back to the review I did say in the update as well that this review would be the sick doctor with um, his sonic lance and Colin Baker was in it from 1984 to 1986 there's a picture of Colin Baker now I'll quickly show you the packaging um, here you have the figure very nicely detailed, especially the clothes. His sonic glance and the K1 robot part. There's the picture of Colin Baker, and that's where it says six Doctor with sonic glance. Down there, you've got the character options website, and if you can just see it there, the logo. And there it says for the K1 robot, it's eight parts collect, and it does say that it includes collect and build K1 robot part, Doctor Who logo, and then something they've stuck on. There's a choking hazard for small parts, which is obviously the screwdriver lance, sorry. And now it's not on for under children for under three years, even though there it says five plus. And it is a poseable action figure. On the back of the packaging, I've got a picture of the complete K1 robot, and it does look absolutely great. Can't wait to complete it. I just need now the hips with the fourth doctor and that leg with the SV7 robot. Collect and build K1 robot with disintegrated gun. Information on how it was built. And then that was when all the doctors played the doctors. So from William Hartnell, and then Tom Baker, Colin Baker, and so on, up to the eighth doctor. BBC logo, um, an official Doctor Who merchandise logo, and how you build your K1 robot. And then you've got other stuff, and then the, that's the world's part code for it. A three seven one two okay um so yeah very happily i will now get it out of the box and review what i think is going to be an amazing figure yeah here it is out the box now it is an absolutely amazingly detailed figure obviously there great detail but I think that is really good detail. They must have taken quite a lot of time designing it. It is really nice. But first of all, just before, uh, that was just really brief. The K1 robot part that comes with it is obviously this one along here. Obviously, the one that the part that comes with the fifth doctor connects there. The part the Zygon um, comes with the head, connects onto its neck, and then the disintegrate. The arm that can connect the disintegrated gun, Manga Screamer Mr. Sim, then the one that connects with the Sea Devil is here. That is my K1 robot so far. Oh, and I have also got a leg. It is going to be quite tall actually. I have realised that, but obviously I have seen how tall it is. So now I only need the fourth Doctor and the SV7 robot. But yeah, it is really, really nicely detailed, the part that comes with the sixth Doctor. Obviously, really awesome detail on it, especially these, like, shoulder pads and things. And then if you look at the back of it, a really nice feature on the back is on the neck thing, there's this thing. And then, like, in, I'll show you now, um, in the um, part that comes with the Sea Devil, there's, like, a little hole. And you insert this thing, oops, sorry into the hole like that and it's just like connected into it and that's a really really nice fe feature i reckon so yeah that's just briefly reviewing the part that comes with the k1 robot but now i'll get on to the main part of the review which is the sick doctor first of all though i will just review his sonic glance now it is really really nice his sonic glance um very nicely detailed i have to say um, obviously, oh, wait a minute, I can try and focus it. Is that focused? Is that focused? Just wait a minute. Focus, I'm focused. I'm trying to get it the most focused it will. Sorry about this, guys. There we go. 
Um, there isn't much detail. I think I said there was loads before, but there isn't much. Um, this little bit at the end is red, and then this bit's blue. But it's just like a really nice feature to have with the sixth doctor. So I do rate it a um, 10 out of 10 because they can't put much detail on it, can not they? But I must say that the other screwdrivers, like the one the 5th Doctor and the 10th, they are so much more detailed. Okay, so I will just review um, Colin Baker now. Now, I'll, just while I've got it on the focus, um, I'll just show you how much detail it has got. Um, it is really good there, his face really nice. Then question marks on the collar, then the dots on his like scarfy thing nice detail there and the pants are nicely detailed and the shoes but as I said um, the coat on it it's just absolutely fantastic look at that it's brilliant well I will do articulation now just let me focus that again yeah there we go right I'll just do articulation now um, the head does a 360 degree turn, which was quite surprising at first. Um, both of the arms both do a 360 degree turn. Both got a swivel joint that can do... Wait a minute. This arm doesn't seem to want to do it, but they both can't... There we go. Both can do a 360 degree turn. Both arms have got elbow joints, and both hands can do a 360 degree turn um, there's a joint at the waist that can do 360 swivel joints on the legs both can do 360 knee joints meaning they can bend um, which is nice but the feet have no articulation but that isn't really a worry of mine now, as I have said repeatedly, um, there is a, a great amount of detail on this figure. Obviously, the spots and the question marks and stuff. There is just a really, really nice amount of detail on it. And I really like those question marks. They are very nicely done. Then, detail on the head. It does look quite a lot like Colin Baker. And the hair is quite nicely done as well. And I just like his overcoat. And the pants are nicely done. Um, it, and it just is a really, really um, nice um, figure to have. I must say, um, it just, it's just, it's just a really, really nice figure, and it is quite rare. One thing I haven't mentioned is the Sonic Lance does go into um, his hand. Um, now I don't know why, but people seem to think that it is quite rare. And I have to agree with them. Oops, sorry about that. That is one thing as well. He, he doesn't want to stand up first half. I, I don't know why he's so rare now. Well, it's like the second or third time that I have seen him in the shops. I never saw him in a Tesco. It's only because of Worlds Apart that um, I have seen him. And if you can hear crying in the background, that's just my little brother. Sorry. But it is, yeah, a really, really nice figure, and I do really, really like it. And it's just a great amount of detail. Now, my next review will be the Sea Devil with his heat ray gun. Now, I may quickly review that part of the K1 robot, but there isn't much to review about it. So, yeah thanks for watching feel free to comment rate subscribe and send a video response